Welcome back to Your Sunday Setup, your weekly source of inspiration and motivation to help you create a fulfilling and balanced life. I'm Whitney, and this week we're focusing on a powerful and often overlooked aspect of our well-being, nurturing relationships. In particular, we'll explore how building stronger connections at work can transform how we feel about the week ahead. Before we begin the discussion of this week's topic, let's take a moment to center ourselves with a short meditation. Find a comfortable position, relax your shoulders, and if it feels right, gently close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and exhale slowly. As you breathe, I want you to imagine yourself in a peaceful garden. The air is fresh and vibrant flowers bloom around you. Each flower represents the relationships in your life. Some are thriving, while others may need a little more care and attention. Take a moment to reflect on which relationships at work or in your personal life need nurturing. As you breathe in, focus on the connection you want to strengthen. With each exhale, visualize yourself taking small, intentional steps to nurture that connection. When ready, gently open your eyes, bringing a renewed sense of purpose and intention to cultivate stronger connections this week. Let's face it, work can sometimes feel like a drag, not just because of the tasks or projects but also because of the relationships we have in the workplace. These dynamics can contribute to the Sunday night dread we know all too well, whether it's a problematic coworker, tension with a boss, or feeling disconnected from your team. But here's the good news. Nurturing relationships, especially at work, can dramatically change how we feel about the week ahead. Investing in building stronger connections creates a positive, supportive, and productive environment, not just for others, but for ourselves. So how can we start nurturing these relationships and building stronger connections in the workplace? Let's explore a few key strategies that can help. First, practice intentional listening. It sounds simple, but we're often distracted during conversations, thinking about our responses, checking our phones, or letting our minds wander. When we genuinely listen to others, it shows that we value their perspective, which creates trust. The next time a coworker or a manager speaks to you, Focus entirely on what they're saying. Make eye contact and listen without interruption. Afterward, ask questions or clarify to show you've absorbed what they've said. This small change can transform how others perceive you and deepen your relationships. Second, be proactive in offering support. If you notice a colleague struggling, or if you can help someone reach their goals, step in and offer assistance. Building a culture of support doesn't just improve relationships, it creates a positive, collaborative work environment from which everyone can benefit. For example, if you know someone on your team who is overwhelmed with a deadline, Offer to help or share advice from your experience. 
Even small gestures of support can go a long way in showing that you care about the success of those around you. Third, show gratitude and acknowledge others' contributions. Everyone wants to feel appreciated, and it's easy to overlook the efforts of those around us when we're busy with our tasks. Take the time to thank a colleague for their hard work or recognize a team member's contribution in a meeting. A simple thank you or acknowledgement can make a huge difference in how someone feels about their work and relationship with you. And finally, set healthy boundaries and foster respect. Nurturing relationships isn't just about giving. It's also about protecting your energy and ensuring mutual respect. Be clear about your boundaries, whether it's how you prefer to communicate or when you need uninterrupted time to focus on tasks. Respect others' boundaries as well. If someone has expressed a preference for communication or set specific time limits, honor those boundaries. Mutual respect is the foundation of any strong relationship, especially in the workplace. Here's something important to remember. We don't have to be best friends with everyone at work to build strong relationships. But when we take the time to invest in meaningful connections, we start to change how we feel about coming to work. It no longer feels like a place filled with friction or isolation, but where collaboration, respect, and growth happen. Nurturing work relationships reduces the anxiety and dread that often accompany the work week. When we feel supported and connected, the week's challenges don't seem as overwhelming and Monday mornings become a little less daunting. Before we wrap up, let me give you a glimpse of what's coming next week. We'll be diving into time and management strategies, a topic that impacts us all. With so many demands on our time, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and like there's just never enough time in the day. But the reality is we all have the same amount of time and those who get more done are better at managing their time effectively, prioritizing what matters. And usually they have created a routine that sets them up for success. We'll explore practical techniques that will let you do the same. So be sure to join us for that. Well, that's a wrap for this week's episode of Your Sunday Setup. I hope our discussion on nurturing relationships has inspired you to take small, meaningful steps to strengthen your connections professionally, and personally. As you move through the week, think about deepening your relationships through intentional listening, offering support, showing gratitude, and fostering respect. These small actions can significantly change how you experience your work life and beyond. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this episode helpful, don't forget to subscribe, share it with others, and come back next Sunday for more motivation and inspiration. Until then, here's to a week filled with stronger connections, meaningful conversations, and positive relationships. Stay inspired and have a fantastic week ahead.